Oi, oi, people, look, the full meal is ready. Yes. My name is Emda R, this is season 9, I'm wearing a Jamaican apron that the picnic name got me, but here we are, one. We're not cooking Jamaican food today. No, today people, we are cooking South African food. Yes, you heard it right, we are cooking South African food. Where's this idea come from? I'll let you know in the episode, but today we're cooking South African food, people. I think I said it three times. What are we cooking today, people? <laughs> You've done that anything, set man. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be doing today, etc. etc. Let's go! Ten years ago, maybe more than that, I used to work with a South African guy. He was a good friend of my family as well. R.I.P. Alan Dove. Yeah. Um he was a South African guy and we used to work in Wimbledon and there was a place in Wimbledon that I'll show you right now it's called Savannah maybe I think could be mistaken but yeah basically it's a South African shop where you get your products and stuff he used to go there and buy the biltong and stuff like that so yeah we've got some biltong to show you as well today people but we get into that afterwards so first of all what we're going to be cooking today is a barbecue all right, it seems like that, but what they call a barbecue is they call it a braai. So today we're making a braai, and we've got some we've got some different ingredients today, people. So first of all, we've got some a sausage, a boral wood or something like that. Um, I'll get the proper pronunciation, but that's the really really authentic sausage of South Africa. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what they use on the grill. That's what they use with their barbecues. Very authentic. And another thing that's authentic they would do with steaks. Uh, so we've got some steak and you don't know say we've got some seasoning as you can see we've got the authentic south african seasoning to go with it you know you've got to have the right things on the side we've got some little relish and thing like that yeah man so that that's a very authentic thing that you're just going to have on the side we've got some maize as well we're going to make a kind of it's kind of like polenta kind of like cornmeal them kind of thing there so we're going to do a little thing with that and we've got some salad as well. We're going to make a little salad to go on the side. We've got some potato salad. And we've got some little pickles and olives and them thing there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot. So we've got to get to work. So yeah, man, today's people, I'm excited to try some new food. Love trying new food. You don't know how the thing's set. I hope everybody's all right. I hope you're enjoying season nine. I hope you enjoyed the last episodes. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I really, really would appreciate it. And I would appreciate it if you press that like button. Let's go. All right, yes, people, we're having a bride today, is it me? Yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the sausage, the South African sausage. You get me? Yeah. Boy, oi! You get me? And we're gonna cut that up first of all. So, chop that up into sausages like that, people. We're having a braai, right? We're having a braai. How's my South African accent, people? <laughs> Why, oi, man? It's cook and vibe. We've got sausages, we've got steaks. It's a good look. Yes, it. People, so the next thing we do is we're gonna get some steaks out of this here. So, we just, I, li I like just the thin kind of, you know what I'm saying? So I can just get like nice seasoning on it. Little bits like that. And they cook really fast and nice. And we just season them. And then, yeah, braai. You see me? <laughs> it's a good look, people. Why are you bad? We're making some steaks and some sausages and woolly patinks. Oi! Boar's war. Boar wars. Or wars. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what it's actually called. But there we have it, our South African sausage. You get me steak stem are all cut up. So now we are going to season with the special braai and grill seasoning. Like I said, braai is an is the, the word for barbecue. So this is an authentic one. I've got another another South African bread gin. I showed him it yesterday. He said, I did that is it, M dot. Do I use it? South African food, why are we? Well seasoned. Ready for the braai. 
Yeah, so we're gonna put these on the grill, people, and then we're gonna get to making this. You get me? Oi, oi. Yeah, man, we're having a braai. We're having a barbecue. Come and see what I've got. Come see what I've got. See there? Yeah. I'm gonna cook up everything I go on, man. You see me? The sausages, the steaks, with the nice seasoning on. Yeah, it's a good look, people. It's a good look. <laughs> Obviously, it's cold and dark. We're having a barbecue same way. You know how the thing go. I wanted to try it. I ain't waiting. So this is what we're going to be making next. This maize meal. And this is like a popular thing to have on the side. Like a side for your food in South Africa. All you do is add water and salt. And that's pretty much it. And you're going to cook it for like 35 minutes. You get me? Um, from what I've tried to gather... Uh, I think it's one litre of water for two cups. Don't know if that's right. I don't know if I've read that right. But um, I will see the consistency once I've put two cups in and I'll start adding some water and see because I'll be able to tell. Do you know what I mean? But um, I'll let you know how much I use anyway. Boy, oi. I'm going to be honest with you, people. I can't tell you how much water I'm putting. I just kind of covered it. Yeah, I just kind of covered it. So... Yeah, and we're going to cook this for 35 minutes. Keep stirring it. If we need to put more water, we can. Just don't put so, too much water that you can't take away, people. Do you know what I'm saying? That is it. South African maize. Whilst uh, our braai is cooking, we're going we're gonna to start making this. So basically, it's a tomato and onion kind of like little paste thing. A sauce you kind of have on the side. You know and I mean, dip your maize in, dip your, dip your meat in or whatever along with your salad. So we're gonna we're gonna start cooking this and then we're gonna start making some salad. Why oi. Yeah man, so it's a simple thing with this. Obviously most people in South Africa probably make their own one. Do you know what I'm saying? But it smells like tomatoes and kinda of onion, yeah. <laughs> that is gonna go onto the hob. Just gonna warm it up. You don't have to cook it, it's just a warming up thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah man. South African Bray relish. Relish them call it. All right. Yes. So we got our, our Bray relish. Aguan. We got our maize cooking. You don't know the sausages and the steaks are cooking. Yeah. So we're going to make a salad. Now here we've got a tomatillo. I don't know if you're familiar with a tomatillo. But we will show you while when we open it. It's made. It's usually it's come from the, uh, South Africa and then places there like that. But um, yeah, you, it's kind of like um, it's, it's 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 part of the tomato family. Yeah, it's part of the tomato family, people. But um, I'm gonna show you that when I open it. They use it for like sadly can use it like just eat it normally, obviously for like salads and stuff like that as well. So um, right, we've got some onion, we got some tomatoes, tomatillo, and we got some cucumber. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna quick and fast. You know me, cook and vibe. Bosh. Yeah. Cucumber. Ready? Yeah, so next we're gonna go for the tomatillo. I'm gonna cut this. I call it Gucci fruit. Like if you cut it in half like properly, that is. Like. It's amazing looking, look at that. Yeah man, a Gucci fruit we call it. <laughs> but yeah man, tomatillo is part of the part of the tomato family, a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more sour. So I'm saying but we're gonna use that in our salad. Yeah, boy. boy. Yes! As you can see the tomatillo in there with the cucumber. Now we're gonna cut some onion. Get some onion in there. I've got another one there as well if I need a little bit more. But we might be okay with what we've got and next we're going to put some tomatoes in obviously we've got the tom tomatillo in there already so we don't want to put too many tomatoes in there but we definitely want some in there for the tomato taste in it as well you see me people 
Yeah, man, I kind of just make up this salad, yeah. Yeah, man, this is this is a cook and vibe South African salad. You understand? Oi, oi. All right, people, to finish off this, we're going to put some salt in there. We're going to put some salt in there, and we are going to squeeze a lemon in there as well. And last of all, we're going to put some chilies in there, people. Just around the side. You get me? Yeah. Yes, people. So a big part of South African food as well is biltong. This stuff here, which is dried cured meat. Wow. This one is a garlic one. So it's dried and cured with garlic. So nice. Now, when you look at this, it might seem like beef jerky and them type of things there, but it's a very, very different flavour. I mean, I don't like beef jerky, but biltong, I love. Back then, used to go to the South African shop in South African bread gin, and used to get the biltong, and it was just 10 10. And I remember one time I thought, oh, let me try the beef jerky, and it weren't the same. So, yeah, the biltong is really, really special. We're going to show you some little clips of the biltong being made and stuff like that. You get me? So, um, but yeah, biltong, dried, cured meat. You get me? Raw. Remember, they don't cook this, so. All right, goodbye, people. Oi! It's a, it's, a, it's a peach all the way from South Africa. I wonder if it's going to taste any different. You know what? I forgot how nice peaches were, you know? <laughs> peaches are really nice, aren't they? Mmm. Don't taste that much different, but it's nice though. It's a good peach. It's a good peach. Big up South Africa. Why I? Alright, people. So I've also got a potato salad, which I think is quite popular in, in South Africa with, with, with their with their braise, but I can't be bothered to make one from scratch. So I bought one from the supermarket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. And we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And we're gonna mix that round. Oh, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna chuck a little bit of the South African seasoning in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we're just gonna mix that round. And that's our potato salad. You see, we've got a lovely big jar of grilled olives to go with it. So we're pretty much nearly done, people. Yeah, man, why oi? Hoi, people, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe, otherwise your fingernails will go rusty and crusty and fall off. Why oi, people, look, the full meal is ready. Yes, as you can see, we got our South African sausages with our steaks, with the South African seasoning. We got our maize cooked, ready to go. We've got our, some olives. We've got our salad. We've got our relish. And we've got our, tom oh my days. And we've got our potato salad. Yeah, people, everything I got, man, it looks really nice. I cannot wait to try this food. Let's go. There you go, people. Look, there's the full finished plate. Salad, olives, potato salad, relish, maize, sausage, steak. Why you are South African bride, a real proper way. You get me? Why you are? Let's taste it, man. All right, people. It's a hand thing. I really want to try this maize stuff. So basically, you're supposed to just pick it up with your fingers, dip it in this relish stuff. mashed potato a bit. <laughs> tastes like mashed potato a bit and the relish is really nice. Got a nice little onion taste to it. Let's taste this sausage. Oh, That's good. 
got a very, very different flavour in there. Mmm. Dip that in this um, tomato relish. Really nice, man. Them sausages got a very, very different taste. Can't put my, can't put my name on the taste of it, but really nice. Steak. Ooh. Mmm. That seasoning is very, very good. Some salad. Mmm. That tomatillo gives it a nice little sweet. The salt in there, the lemon in there. Perfect little bit of potato salad. Nice now I've added them little things in there. Olive. Mmm, be good, olive to 10 10. Amazing. Really, really nice. The seasoning in that steak is 10 10. And that sauce is really nice. That tastes like a, like a kind of mashed potato. Boy, oi! There you go, people. South African food. I'm now going to enjoy my food, relax, and eat this. I hope you've enjoyed it. This ain't new for you. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man. Big up sex in Uniting Works. South African food today, people. Greetings, tell me how you're feeling. It's the big up section. You don't know where I go, people. Leave a comment in the comment section for your chance. Oh, you people, welcome to the big up section, man. I hope you enjoyed something different today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you could please press that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you already pressed it, I love you. You get me? If you can press that like button, it will get the video moving quick and fast. You don't know anything, set people. This week's big up. Yes, big up up crew fox one one says i've been following you for years you deserve more than just to go viral you're one of the nice guys in the music industry bless up bro respect and manners my G. people this is regarding the previous episode if you haven't seen it the last one on last sunday so i've gone viral people yes i've hit millions and millions of views if you don't know i do music as well it's kicking go and check out the last episode and it'll tell you everything you need to know do you know what i mean and also big up jf1176 he says no more than you deserve bro always coming with them good vibes Again, regarding the same video, so go and check that out if you haven't seen it already, people. Yeah, man, South African food, people. This Sunday, we've got something special for you. Yeah, pop-up shop. We've done a pop-up shop in Brixton, and we're going to be doing these pop-up shops all over the country, all over the world. You get me? So if you want to see us in your place, in your town, you just leave a comment in the comment section and watch out for this Sunday's episode. And you're going you're gonna to see what I've got anyway. Is it, people? I'll see you on Sunday. Listen.